have a bunch of these in my lake. Wow, those are big. <laughs> Not a brook trout, but it's a fish. It's shiny like a trout. No one's got a fish. Uh, Another one? Yeah. All right, do you guys see that right there? This is the first time in a while that we've had a portage sign that says Nipissing River to something other than the Nipissing River. We will no longer see our paddle blades anymore. We're on to big lakes. Starting at Cedar Lake, where we will make a visit to Algonquin Outfitters. Noah, how do you feel about the nip? We had a great time. We saw five meese this morning, and uh, yeah, she just winded. All right, so we're currently on Cedar Lake. Woo! Is this our more, most northern point? Uh, yeah, it would be. It would be the most northern point of our trip. And we're just paddling over to the other side of the lake where there's an Algonquin Outfitters, and we're hoping to be able to find some way to barter for some Snickers, some Band-Aids, a couple double A's for the GPS. <laughs> um, but we don't have a wallet on us, so we're gonna see how that goes. Hey there. Yeah. Is this Algonquin Outfitters? Yeah, you're looking for the brand store, right? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. The Brent Store, Algonquin Outfitters, our most northern point on the meanest link. Wow, that's big. There's two portages here that's in high water. Yep. Does that mean they're runnable? Welcome to the Petawawa River. We just did our first portage from Cedar Lake and we are officially on the Petawawa River. We've done 40 kilometers today still feeling pretty good we're gonna stop for dinner hopefully at Radiant Lake and then see if we can make it further than that catfish yeah <laughs> no way man I haven't seen a catfish in ages <laughs> that's big eh that's a big catfish We're eating like kings tonight, boy. Just kidding, we're not eating this catfish. <laughs> Here, you want a picture with it? Yeah. And there she goes. That's a decent bass. It is. just came out to Petawawa and we have entered Radiant Lake, also known in the day as Trout Lake. But we think the name change was partly due to the smallmouth bass that has taken over this area. But who really knows? We're just theorizing out here. But by just paddling literally <laughs> from sun, sun up to sundown, you can easily get 40 kilometers and still fish. We we happened to do, do 50 kilometers today and caught over a dozen of those fall fish, um, smallmouth bass, and a huge catfish that I, that was caught on a spitter bait. Yeah, to be honest, if we had the rod rigged for the entire time, we could have got cheeky casts in all the time and maybe been a half an hour behind schedule. And that cheeky fish.
We decided to go a little farther on Radiant Lake. And now we're on a site about halfway down. Nice and open, not too bad. It's the morning of day six. Or is it the morning of day seven? Day seven. It's already the morning of day seven. We're out here on Radiant Lake. Today is gonna be an especially tough day because we have 25 portages. One of the toughest days, I think. A lot of portaging, a lot of portaging. But we also get to see some beautiful lakes. And then from here, we're gonna go down south to the Crow River, and then take the Crow River into La Ville. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. I haven't looked at the map in a while, so. For all you haters, don't hate. And then in La Ville, we meet up with the mean dude's favorite island site to have a couple cream ales. Dude, that's all nice, full, and tired for the 5K. <laughs> So true, eh? You're gonna smash those beers and then like... Alright. Feel, feel like, oh man, what a day. This route used to be used as a logging route, and they'd be moving logs down the Petawawa through the lumber mills. And you can see the remnants of all these old logs that didn't fully make it down. All right, so we are off the Petawawa River now, and this is the outflow of the Crow River. So we're now going against stream on our way to Lac La Ville. What's your reaction when you think about this portage? Didn't you have something to say about it as well? The first of a f***ing pounding. <laughs> yeah, our body's about to get destroyed. Not on day one. Here we day go. Day seven. Here we go. Wow. We just finished the 2.4 kilometer portage. We crossed this creek. Twelve eighty, baby. Quick snacks is in the, uh, the cards for us, and then we're gonna keep going. Heads down, plug in. But honestly, I don't even think all of our small portages that we have to do after this, there's probably like, I don't know, I'm guessing 10, don't equal e even, might not even equal 1,200. Like, yeah. or maybe it's around there. Like, it, it's yeah. gonna be a lot better. Yeah. Hey, things are looking up for us. Things are looking up. Plus, we got jerky strips. Things are all right. So we're on Lake Lavelle on an island near the northern shore, and we're here for a special reason. The route that we're doing, known as the Minas Link, was a tribute to a fellow named Swifty, also known as the Mean Dude. And Lake Lavelle, it was his favorite lake, and this was his favorite campsite to stay on. And also, these beers were not his favorite beers, but we could not find them. So what we have is our home-brewed Muskoka Cream Ale, so this is gonna have to do. So we paddled it up here, away from our original route down to Lake Opiongo, to have a beer in tribute of Swifty, AKA the mean dude, on his favorite site. Cheers. Cheers, man.
to the mean dude. Mm, room temperature. It's a nice sight. Look at this dining room table that comes with the fireplace. Yeah, so once we're at this island up here, we should have the uh, Wonder Bar. Yeah. Nothing like getting to a portage at 7.40 at night and having 43 kilometers under your belt already. You might as well do a five kilometer portage. Right? <laughs> this is gonna be jokes. This is pushing our body to the limit. We have 1.6 kilometers left of this 5.5 kilometer portage. Making work of it. All right, so we finally made it to camp. It is 9.45, that 5K portage took us two hours, but we're set up at the end of it. It was a big day for us today. Huge day. 49 kilometers. Not just 49 kilometers, but 21 portages equaling I would say well over 10 kilometers in portaging. <laughs> well, three of them were like almost nine. Yep, my back's singing the song today. <laughs> <laughs> 